This week, 327 new stalls were installed. That brings the total to 49,540, which is 27.5% complete of the 180,000 expected to be necessary according to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's 2023 study. Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub didn't add any stations, but one of their locations expanded the number of stalls. <clears throat> I'll get to that in a second. Tesla added six new stations. ChargePoint added 40 new stations. It is important to note that ChargePoint lists each dispenser as a station instead of a stall. EVgo added one. Uh, their count actually decreased though here, so that's why I called this out. So I guess they closed a couple of sites or something. They have a lot of, they've been in this business a long time, so they have a lot of old sites. So conceivably, they just closed some old sites. And EV Connect, I'm starting to track. I really can't ignore them anymore. They're, they've been on my the periphery of my radar for a while. And this past week, they've really been adding a whole bunch to the database. So... Um, it only shows four, but I've been watching them now for a couple of weeks, and they've really been just hammering away, adding new stations, and I'll get to them in a second when we get into the data. And the Rivian Adventure Network added one. Let's go ahead and get to the data. First one is the Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub. And right here in Richmond, Kentucky, you can see the stall count is up to 10. And if you want to see what that looks like, here's a picture where the initial six stalls were open. And then there's a construction zone over here for an additional two dispensers with uh, two stalls per dispenser. Not quite sure why they expanded this location to have 10 stalls instead of six. All the other ones are in interstates at Bucky's as well. And maybe they just had extra hardware that they needed to put into the ground while they finished the phase one and move on to phase two. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Next one is Tesla. They added six stations. Two 16s, two 12s. And it looks like two eights. I'm not quite sure why this one says seven. Sometimes when they put in new ones, one of the stalls is broken and they temporarily list it as, a, uh, as only the active stalls. The next one I'm going to mention is Electrify America. They did not add anything, but YouTuber TechMedia3866 mentioned that they opened a new station. And I'm just really bothered that there's nothing in the database. And let me call out the station that Tech Media referred to. It is this one right here in Montana. And you can see in the comments, Electrify America on April 24th this week did in fact mention that this station is open, but it is not showing in the database. So when you look in the database for that city, you see an Electrify America station but it's listed as opening as June 22nd, 2023. Now, if you go to that station, this is what it looked like on May 2nd, 2023. They started construction. This is June 2nd, 2023. The pads are in place and the bollards. And here is about when they added it to the database. They put in a piece of equipment. So, assumingly after the what's known as the plaza work is complete, they don't add, add it to the database. It's only when they add some form of electronics, it looks like, they add it to the base. And this is complete speculation. I honestly don't know. But there are no entries getting added to the database by Electrify America for one reason or another. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> Alright, the next one is ChargePoint. Forty stations, similar to last week. Nothing really to call out, just municipalities and car dealerships, principally. I am starting to see more of these two-stall locations, which are the ChargePoint Express Plus dispensers. You can see them there, and you could also see them over here. <clears throat> 
Next one is Evigo. One new station, six dolls in Concord, California. Next one is EV Connect. So I think what's happening here, EV Connect, I've noticed is often at General Motors dealerships. And um, I think what's going on with EV Connect is because General Motors is getting ready to release their Altium cars, I think they require dealerships to have a DC fast charger on property. So we're seeing a really large uptick of dealerships specifically underneath the General Motors family of brands uh, getting EV Connect hardware, uh, which I'm all for. You know, lots of times I've seen that at the uh, General Motors brands of dealerships, the cost is nominal or uh, at some locations, it's actually free. Specifically, I recently took a trip to Little Switzerland, North Carolina, and there was a DC fast charger with EV Connect uh, labeling, uh, but it was free. There was no cost whatsoever. The next one is the Rivian Adventure Network. And they added one station. West Lebanon, New Hampshire. Thanks for watching.